Hey, real estate investors, James Wise with Holton Wise. Today, I am analyzing a deal that a couple of my clients found on the Cleveland MLS. I'd like you to do two things right now. Number one, hit that subscribe button because this channel is all about empowering you to be the best real estate investor possible. And number two, I want you to grab a pen and paper because we're going to be diving into the numbers on this deal. Let's dive in. Price. I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James, James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Becky and Chris, you guys have reached out to get me to analyze 727 Hemlock Drive, Euclid, Ohio, 44132. This property was put on the MLS by a real estate agent out of a company called Platinum Real Estate. It is a single family home. We have three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It is a ranch. It's got no basement. This is a slab home. They've priced it for $35,000. Based on a few emails you guys have exchanged with me, it looks like your strategy is to do the Burr strategy. For those of you that have not heard of the Burr strategy, what that means is you buy a property, that's the B, you renovate that property, you rent that property out, then you refinance that property, and then you repeat the process. So homes in the Euclid area, turnkey real estate properties, you know, single family homes like this one, we are typically selling those for 75, sometimes as high as $80,000. So this property being priced at only $35,000 leads me to believe that this is a great candidate for the Burr strategy, but we don't know everything just yet. That's why you guys have purchased this analysis. I really wanna dive in deeper and really break down exactly what we have here to really understand if this is gonna work for a successful Burr deal. Couple other things to note from our conversation. You're looking for B and C neighborhoods. Well, this property, this is a great neighborhood. As far as the neighborhood goes, I love Euclid. I do not think that you can go wrong in Euclid at all. Honestly, you can throw a dart at the city of Euclid and wherever it goes, I think that is a good investment in regards to the neighborhood. You see, Euclid is my favorite. I'm sure a lot of you, this is going to be a lot of repetition for a lot of you who regularly watch my videos, but for those of you who may have stumbled upon this video and you've never seen one of my videos before and you're looking to learn about Cleveland real estate investing, Euclid is the city I think has the biggest upside right now. The reason being, they've just built an Amazon fulfillment center in Euclid. Now Euclid's small little community, there's only about 50,000 people living there. And you put in this fulfillment center from a major company, every single job in that fulfillment center is gonna be being paid at least $15 an hour. So what that means is the people working in that center, and that center is going to add like three, four, five thousand 5,000 jobs. It's set to open in early 2019. When you add that many jobs at that rate of pay, those people, those people are prime renters. Those are the people that we as real estate investors want to attract to rent our properties. So I love this deal just based on the neighborhood so far. Now, you guys have said you'd like to be all in for a maximum of $50,000, hoping that it's going to uh, appraise after you do the renovations for around $90,000. Now, that is just not possible. That's not realistic. Just looking at this deal uh, from afar, I could already tell you that that's not going to happen. You can't take a property that's priced at only $35,000, put in only $15,000, and expect to get it to appraise for almost triple what you've paid for it. Now, if there's people pitching coaching products or things of that nature telling you that you can go in, find a property like that, do that minimal amount of work, and get it to appraise for almost triple what you've paid, 
that that's not realistic. They're probably trying to sell you a paid coaching program or a book of some sort. In real life practice, that's probably not the case. Now, if you're an investor and you're out there and you're spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on you know direct mail or just trying to find distressed sellers, you may come across some pretty good deals. But a deal like that, I, I don't anticipate you're going to find something that good. You know, if you did, it's it's a one-off. It's it's one in a million. People just don't sell assets for that cheap. Now, what we've got here, you know, this is a it is a distressed seller situation. This is a short sale, but you know, it's already on the market. It's been on the market, you know, for over a month now as we're filming this. If it really was that good of a deal, you know, it would have been gobbled up the very day that it was made available on the MLS. You know, there would be a line of buyers who would be paying well over the list price to close on that transaction because, you know, just so much money would be made. Now, given that you're not going to make that much money, it doesn't mean this is a bad deal. I really just want to, like, go deeper into this and let's get into the numbers. Now, what I've got, you know, there's only one picture on the MLS here. This agent, they chose to only put one picture. And according to the MLS notes, the sellers, who are the owners, they are still living there. So we don't have any interior pictures uh, provided by that agent. But we do have some clues as to the condition of the property. Number one, those people are still living there. So that means the electrical, we could, you know, safely assume that that probably works. The furnace, you know, we could assume that heat, you know, we could assume the house is habitable. We still got people living there. But in the notes, they did say that this house is in need of extensive work. So what we want to do right now, I want to reverse engineer this deal and see exactly what we could anticipate our cost being to totally renovate this thing to see how good this fits into that Burr strategy. Now we take our purchase price, $35,000. Let's just assume we have to spend $35,000 to acquire this house. According to our notes, this house is in need of extensive work. Let's just look at the cosmetics first. To do a successful Burr deal, it's very important that the tenant base loves the property that we give them a clean, crisp property. So we've got a short sale situation. The people who purchased the property, they are living there, but this means you know they're having trouble paying their bills. They're having trouble paying their mortgage. So to assume that cosmetically this house, even though we don't have additional pictures, you cannot go in this with the assumption that you're gonna have this beautiful, crisp, updated house. So when you're purchasing this property, looking to purchase this property, know that you're gonna have to do a complete cosmetic overhaul. So what that means is we're going to need to go in there. We're going to need to paint all the walls, patch any possible holes. We're going to need to refinish those hardwood floors or replace carpet. And we're going to want to go into the kitchens and the baths and totally update those. I mean, the house itself was built in 1952. And based upon the fact that we've got a short sale situation, a little semi-distressed seller situation here, you know, I would guesstimate that those kitchen appliances, the kitchen cabinets, the fixtures in that kitchen and the bath, if not original to the 50s, I highly doubt they're brand new. And when you're going to rent a property, it all needs to be clean, fresh, crisp. Even if somebody updated the kitchen 15 years ago, that's not going to fly to the tenant base. I mean, this home right here, if we make this home beautiful, you know, a big important part of the Burr strategy is getting that rental income. We could be renting this house for as much as $1,100, but we're not going to be doing that with an old dated kitchen. So based on all that, we've got an acquisition cost, $35,000. From there, I anticipate we're going to spend between twenty dollars and $25,000 on cosmetic renovations. Updating the kitchen, updating the baths, repainting everything. I want to go with a nice neutral color. We like to utilize agreeable gray here at Holton Wise. We also like to paint all that trim white. I would guesstimate, based upon the fact that this was built in 52, that the trim is probably like an ugly, dated looking oak color. So that's not going to fly. You got to go white trim. And then you could either place carpet in there or there's probably nice hardwoods. If there is carpet, I'm sure there's nice hardwoods under that refinish those, get yourself a nice dark looking hardwood, and you could put some vinyl allure flooring in the kitchen if the hardwoods don't flow all the way through to the kitchen. So to get that look, that look that's gonna attract high quality tenants paying $1,100, we're gonna need to spend between 20 and $25,000. <clears> now, 
On top of that, what do we have? We've got a roof on our property. Now, a re roof replacement on a property of this size is going to run you about $5,000. We do not know at this time if we need to replace that roof, but I would not assume that roof is totally brand new. So if, worst case scenario, we had to replace the roof, that's going to be another $5,000. Now, as far as the hot water tank and the furnace are concerned, given that they're still living there, like I said, we can deduce that those are probably working. I highly doubt they're living in that property in an unhabitable state. But if we needed to replace those, we are looking at a cost of about $3,000 for that furnace and $1,000 for that H2O tank. So let me jot all this down here. So... If we went in and purchased it for $35,000, put twenty dollars to $25,000 worth of cosmetic work, we are looking at a total cost right there. That would be $45,000, between fifty-five dollars and $60,000. On top of that, you know, we are guaranteed a minimum. We are going to be into this deal for a minimum of fifty-five dollars to $60,000. On top of that, we have another $9,000 of CapEx items that we may need to pay all of that or we need to pay some of that. I don't know. We don't have all of that information. I would assume we probably need to do a little bit because if those you know, things, that roof, I don't see why it would be new. So if you've got a roof that's going to last you 30 years and you're doing all this work now and you're trying to get it to appraise later, it's not leaking yet, but it's going to leak down the road. So you might as well just knock all of that out. So that's going to give us a total all-in cost. If we just assume we have to do all 9000 of that now, just knock it all out now, we can be all into this project for between sixty-four dollars and $69,000. Now, as I said earlier, deals like this, you know, turnkey deals, we're selling these for between seventy-five and 80000 over in Euclid right now. So if you look at that value, if our target appraised value is $80,000 and we are all into this for between sixty-four dollars and $69,000, that's not too bad. We're not going to pull all of our money out, but we're going to pull a pretty decent chunk of it out. Assuming it appraises for $80,000 and we are all into this, let's go worst case scenario, we're all into this deal for $69,000. When you do that refinance, you get to pull out 75% of the equity. Assuming we get this property to appraise for that $80,000 mark, we'll be able to pull out 75% of that equity. So 80,000 times 75%, that means we'd be able to pull out $60,000. So worst case scenario, we're all into that deal for $69,000. That means we are only into this deal for $9,000 cash. Best case scenario, you know, assuming we didn't have to redo that roof, that furnace, or that hot water tank. Maybe they were all in pretty decent shape right now. We're only into this deal for $4,000. So for between $4,000 and $9,000 out of pocket, you could have yourself a beautiful turnkey rental property in a neighborhood that's got, in my opinion, a very high chance of appreciation here in the near future. I think the rental demand is going to continue to get higher and higher You know, as more people gravitate to live closer to their work. I mean, that's awesome. $1,100 in rent right now, only out of pocket $4,000 to $9,000, and you have a ton of upside on the back end. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. I absolutely think you should pursue this deal. This is a great candidate for that Burr strategy because if you went to purchase the same property when someone else already did the work and you had to purchase it for $80,000, you're going to need to put in $20,000. So by doing the Burr deal, you could come in with less than half on the worst case scenario and only about 25% of what you would normally need to go in in our best case scenario. Becky and Chris, I hope that answers all of your questions on this deal and really gives you a good idea of exactly what you could be buying, what you're investing in here. For the rest of you, if you have a deal out there that you would like me to analyze, simply go to our website and purchase a desktop analysis like you've seen today. On top of that, we also offer another product where you'll get everything that you've got for me today, 
but I will send my film crew out to the property to go inside the property, give you a complete video tour of everything you're gonna see on the inside as well as drone footage of that roof. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management, We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.